Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys all the art supplies that I'm currently using for my illustrations and doodolinas. So, let's get to it! First off, let's talk about paper. I have too much of it. <laughs> I'm a long time sketchbook hoarder, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm just going to talk about these four right here. For my doodolinas, commissions, and other illustrations, I have been using this Strathmore mixed media paper. The dimensions are 6 by 8 inches and 300 grams, which is great because it holds watercolor and ink really well. I love the smooth texture of the paper and it's just the perfect size for me. I also have a larger size of this mixed media paper, which is 11 by 14. I normally use this for my larger illustrations seen on some of my previous videos such as my monthly favorites and my recent uniform video. I also use this size for when I write quotes with my favorite bamboo brush. Next, the infamous Hobonichi! Most of you guys know what I use this for, but if you're not familiar with it, be sure to check out my Hobonichi videos. Honestly, I have a lot of catching up to do for March, but look forward to new Hobonichi videos because it's going to be my New York edition! Lastly, this is my Urban Sketchbook. It's by Stillman & Burn, their Zeta series. This sketchbook is definitely one of my favorites. It's 270 grams, and just like my Strathmore mixed media paper, it's watercolor friendly and the texture of the paper is really smooth. I'm so happy because I only have two pages left. Oh yeah! Now onto my drawing materials. Let's start with my pencil. I've had this mechanical pencil since high school and it's been my favorite drawing companion ever since. It's my pencil and contains 0.5 lead and my favorite part would have to be the twist eraser. Ooh. Micron pens! I have so much more hidden in a box, but these are what I currently have in my pencil pouch. My favorite one would have to be the 005. As you can see here, it has a very thin, fine line and it's the thinnest point that Micron offers. I use this over my pencil sketches or straight onto my Hobonichi. Next I have it in 01, which is obviously thicker than a 005. I use this to increase my lines and to add more depth to my illustrations. And then I have one in 05, which is much thicker than a 2. Just like 01, I use this for the same purpose. These pens right here are by Faber-Castell and they are the Pitt Artist Pens. These two are much thicker than my Micron pens and they are great for filling in large spaces. I also like to use these for text that go along with my illustrations. These three colors I mainly use for my duolinas. I find that most of my duolinas have hair in these colors as well as black and these are nice to use for depth and shadows. Last but not least, I have the Yazutomo YNC Gel Extreme Ink in Pastel White. I love this gel pen because I feel that it pulls everything together. It's a cherry on top! I use this for text and mostly highlights for my duolinas eyes lips and hair to give that shiny effect. Ooh, pretty! Now to the fun part, watercolor! I use Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolors in two different forms. The first one is their pocket box set which I use the most. When I'm doing a quick illustration in my Hobonichi and when I'm out and about, this always comes in handy. It's the perfect size as it fits nicely in my purse and pencil pouch. And then I have the paint tubes which I use when I'm working on larger illustrations. I use this plastic plate I got at Target and it works great as a palette. Now what's watercolor without their brushes aka partner in crime? As you can see I have an assortment of brushes but I only have a few that have been my favorite for a while now. This water brush is one of the best inventions ever! It's perfect for outdoor painting as it's an awesome twofer. Just twist the top open and fill the tube with water and you're good to go. These are my four go-to brushes. This Windsor & Newton brush is what I find myself gravitating towards the most. It's kind of my all-in-one brush and it just works so well for me. These two brushes show up every now and then if I need an extra hand with adding shadows and color to my illustration. This round brush is like a little baby, it's so tiny! I love using this brush for my fine lines and details. It's especially great for my illustrations since my work is fairly small. My last weapons of choice, and I'm talking about in the art world, are these scissors. I use these for my Duolina cutout dolls and I find that these work the best. 
I got this one at a local Japanese store called Marukai, and this one I got from Michael's. And those are all my weapons of choice. <laughs> I've gotten questions from you guys about what types of materials I use, so I hope you all found this video very helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!